Okay, final project time. So I want to introduce it, and I'm stealing Mr. Stevens' video that he made last year because I'm running out of time, and it's a good video, and, you know, Mr. Stevens likes his TikToks. So I have a couple changes to um, <clears throat> what his assignment is for his video, but um, I'm going to talk about uh, the final project. Now, the deadline for the final project is going to be Wednesday, June 23rd by 4 p.m. That is the only time that it's a hard deadline because I've got to get my report cards done and written before class is over, which is weird. Okay. So the link to the entire project is here, but I'm going to walk you through it. So first of all, let's uh, watch Mr. Stevens uh, video and uh, I've explained to you how we're going to approach it. So uh, here we go. Don't you miss Mr. Stevens? Hey class, congratulations on making it to our final art assignment. I know Sorry. I know this has been the craziest semester ever, but honestly I just want to thank everyone who's put in the time and the effort to improve your art skills from home. Okay, so what you're going to see during this video is an art piece that I decided to make over the last week. Um, this is something I've been wanting to do for a really long time, but never really had the courage, the time, or the motivation to try it. And this is exactly what I want you to do for the next week and a half. Your goal for this final art assignment is to try something new. This could be something that you're curious about, it could be something that you've wanted to do in the past but you've been too nervous to give it a shot, or it could be something for someone else and you just haven't had the time to do it. As long as your final submission is appropriate and connected to the arts, anything and everything is game. These ideas could include a dance routine, exploring a new medium such as trying watercolor, painting, sculpting, or even wood burning. Or it could be photography and picking a theme of images to go out and capture. It could also include writing or singing a song, playing a new instrument, writing poetry, making new clothing, decorating a cake, or maybe something arts that you saw on social media and just want to try it for yourself. It could also be something that you make for other people to enjoy. Maybe you paint a couple of rocks with positive messages and then scatter them throughout your neighborhood. Or maybe you create a poster to support our frontline workers, something to do with Pride Month, or even the Black Lives Matters movement. Basically, I just want you to pick something that you think you'll be passionate about and you can learn something new from. Um, you do not have to be an expert and I don't expect you to create a masterpiece. The only thing I'm marking you on is your passion, your effort, and your willingness to try something new. I could not have made it easier to ace your final assignment. All I ask is that you spend a minimum of six hours on this final assignment. But Mr. Stevens, how do I get bonus marks? Fantastic question. If you make a video, of your process, like I've been doing this entire time, you definitely get bonus marks. You can edit your videos in iMovie, TikTok, or any other program that you know. For my videos, I've been using an app called InShot. It's free and pretty easy to use. So finish this, and then you're that much closer to summer vacation. Uh, plan ahead, focus your energy over the next 10 days, and try to do something new. This was probably the most fun, and slightly stressful, time I've ever had making an art piece, and I really hope that you find something that you enjoy as well. So that's all I have to say. Please try to have fun with this assignment and just send me an email if you have any questions before you get started. Also, I'm selling this art piece for a million dollars, so if you want to help me achieve my goal, just send this link to anybody who's interested. Thank you, bye. All right, so we're gonna do that project. Um, now a few things is that um, I want you to think about what you wanna do. Now, what can you do? You can do anything you absolutely want. It could be a repeat of a project that we've already done and you just wanna get more into it. For example, if you really like the music and the video sort of thing, you can keep doing that. Photography, like anything we've done in this class, Anything that we've done in previous urban art classes, anything that you've done on your own time, maybe it's something new, um, anything creative at all whatsoever. So anything that you want to do. But the most important thing is I want you to use the materials that you have on hand. There isn't time unless you can go out shopping, you know, tonight and get what you need. But because of the situation, it might be tricky to get supplies and you don't have time to wait for the weekend or anything like that. So, um, Think about anything that you've always wanted to try, anything that you enjoy, anything that you think that you're good at, something that's going to take less than a week and something that's not stressful for you, okay? 
I want to show you three student examples about projects that they did and how they documented um, the process of them making it because in Mr. Stevens' video he said that was optional but for us we'd like to do it. I, we have to do that. You know how to use WeVideo. You're pro at it now. Let's look at just some examples about how students approach this. So let's check out the first one. Again, all these projects turned out so cool. Very cool. Okay, let's look at another example here. Get any materials, anything that you want. You can bake a cake and deliver it to me. Okay, here's Gavin's. <laughs> So cool. Okay, one more that I want to show you really quickly. I'm so pleased how these turned out. Don't cry, you snowman, not in front of me. Who will get your tears if you can't get me down? Okay, there's some really, really great examples, so I can't wait to see your ideas and what you're going to come up with. 
Okay, so how are we gonna get started? So again, anything goes. So get inspired, you know, make your idea board. You can use Pinterest, you can look online, to TikTok, there's lots of really cool stuff. Decide on what you wanna do and make sure that you have some sort of screenshot that you can capture whatever it is that you wanna do. So again, it can be an extension of anything that we've done in class, any, anything that you want, any materials. Now, today, by the end of class today, you need to know what you want to do because we don't have time to sort of wait. You, we have lots of time all morning to figure out what you want to do. And once you have an idea or some ideas, you're going to post on Google Slides for feedback. Okay, so that link, you click it there, it's going to take you here. So uh, again, you just want to post what your ideas are. You can get feedback from other students, feedback from me, get feedback from Miss Carlson. It's, it's really useful perhaps to have another set of eyes um, to give some ideas and, and how you're going to come about this. So I posted my example. So my name, this is what I want to do. Um, this is what I'm sort of thinking about. And I'm going to design it digitally, for example, right? So comment on each other's give advice, give feedback. If you want advice, ask questions, right? It's control, alt, and M. So that should be done by the end of class today so that you're focused on what you want to do. Okay, you have to get that done today. All right, and then when you're ready to go, make sure that you have new materials, your resources, whatever you're looking at, and get ready to start. And as you are working, you want to document your process. So whether that's screenshots, photos, videos of stuff, you know, whatever you want to do as you're making it, because we want to, sometimes we know the most important or most interesting part is how it's made, right? So keep working away. You're going to finish your project. When you're done with everything, with either your video or your screenshots or your photos or whatever, you're going to import them all into TikTok or WeVideo or any other um, video program that you want to use. We know how to use WeVideo. You know how to add music behind it and titles. Now we're totally professional at that. So whatever you want to do. When you are finished, by next Wednesday, at the end of the day, you're going to post your idea board or your inspiration, your video, and your final project on your digital portfolio with your reflection. So this is the sample here, and this is how you're going to lay it out. You've done a lot of work this year. Okay, so let's scroll down to the bottom. Okay, so title, choose your own adventure in art. I got my idea board, totally stole this from a student. Okay, and Hasna's video and how she made it, and then her final project here, and then a little bit of a reflection. Okay, so that's the whole entire project. So I'm hoping that this inspires you and it pumps you up to something that you want to do. And again, if it's something that you've been, you've been doing a series of stuff anyway, and you want to continue with that, if you want to make a whole bunch of digital skateboards, right, and have your own skateboard shop, sure. It's like anything that you want, but post your ideas on that slideshow so we can give you feedback and make sure that you're on the right track. Okay, I can't wait to see what you're going to come up with. Okay, we'll get started.